Hi, this is Carol Ann Sherman, and today I'm going to show you a little trick. When you're working on a painting that is kind of uh, a little larger and you want to detail one area of it to see how it's going to work out when you do your final painting, one of the things that I like to do is take my drawing, which is already done on my Yupo. I'm sticking a smaller sheet of paper on top of it. I'm going to place it on my light box. This is a light box. It's a really convenient tool for any artist to have. If you're painting and you don't have one of these, you probably should think about getting one because it will help you out a lot and save you a lot of time and a lot of aggravation. So what I'm going to do is place this paper with my drawing right on top of the light box. And I'm just covering the area that I want to try out first to see what my colors are going to look like. This is a good way to find a background color and find your flesh tones and, and do everything before you start your big painting. So I'm going to start drawing from the left side of my painting because I am right-handed and I don't want the uh, graphite to smear all over the drawing. So I'm going to try to keep, because this is Yupo, I'm going to try to keep my hands off the paper as much as possible. Just use the pencil and we're going to start from the left, work towards the right. We're all placed on the light box. I have stuck a little piece of masking tape on this picture taped to the original, and that is just so if I have to move it around anywhere, I can. Some light boxes are large enough that you don't have to worry about that. If you're working on something fairly small, you may want to tape it down so if you move it, you don't have any problems. So we're just going to start by taking a number two pencil. This is a mechanical, plain old yellow pencil. Uh, and we're going to start our drawing this way. It's also a good time to make corrections if you see anything that you don't like about your drawing. And we're just going to trace the image onto the smaller paper. Remember, we're not going to do a lot of shading because I am working on Yupo and I don't want to get the graphite in there because it smears in the paint a little bit. So the less shading you do, the better, <laughs> the better off you're going to be, the happier you're going to be with your final painting. Knowing that this is going to be a straw hat, I'm probably going to put all these little areas in it that we see through because we want to have a place to darken up so we can just give it a little depth. Continue on the brim and it's rolled. Meet up with your other line. Do not draw in scratchy little lines. It's not going to help your painting. We have some rather large sunglasses. I don't leave a lot of open lines in my drawings. If you want to change your drawing at this point a little bit, you can. I'm just changing the hairline a little bit around the hat to make it a little flattering when we paint it. Do a minimal, minimal of lining on the face. I don't really uh, draw in the teeth usually. I kind of just leave myself room to do darks and lights. I have an ear that shows behind this holding the hat on. I'm going to put a little more hair down here. Come right to the end of our paper. Always work right to the end of your paper. A shoulder, 
the top of a bikini strap on one side, one on the other. And you're now ready to begin your painting. And this makes it so much easier than struggling and fighting with it. Uh, the light box is such a useful tool. You should really have one. If you don't, you should really get one. And we're ready to move on to the next step. This is Carol Ann Sherman. And I'm glad you could be here to join me for my free art lesson today. Uh, I hope you look for me on my website at carolannshermanstudio.com. And I'm looking forward to you meeting up with me again somewhere in the future. Keep an eye out for my DVDs. Thank you so much. <laughs>